Hey guys, really quick, first episode of this does have Twitch chat on the screen because when I was playing it, I didn't know how amazing it was and that I wanted to turn it into a video. So please put up with that. It's only for the first half half an hour or so. Or one before so I thought. Enjoy the video. I have never played The Wolf Among Us. I don't know what to expect from The Wolf Among Us. I don't know why Among Us there be a wolf. But apparently there is a wolf among us. And we're going to see what the story is. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were ex exiled from their homelands. Their use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, hey, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Loving the lighting so far. Good lord. A reminder of our goals, chat. If we reach £100 in donations today, we will stream for five hours. Five hours of The Wolf Among Us. So if you guys want to see me beat half of this game today, there you go. If you don't, feel free to just relax, lean back, and enjoy the show. And we'll keep going until we hit the point where I want to stop. We might end up doing five hours anyway. You don't know that. Ooh. And hey, if you want me to live stream for one week straight, uh, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> I will live stream myself when I sleep, when I wake up. I will play games for a Mr. week straight. <laughs> oh, shit, Big B. Listen, mate. I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Uh, no harm Look, done? No harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. Big Biz got a really nice voice. You know voice. what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Hey, Sam. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Sorry, Toad. it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! Well... See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Oh, thanks for that, Big B. You're a real gentleman. Why Why would I do that? Oh, this is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Uh... So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time. Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. Where are the guys? When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Well then. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? I hope the spoils were worth it. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey! Look at me! You love this game? I've never played it. Matches. Let's go. 
Okay. It's amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Take a look. Take a good look. Uh, I guess know I'll who just... I am now? No need to kick the door down. Jesus Christ, there's a difference between the knocks, eh? God damn you! Okay! You got something on your face. Let me know how the volume is. Talking about you, stupid. I'll fucking kill you! Alright, Mikey! What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. I did not know there were quick time events in this game. Oopsie daisy! Okay, uh, well, what do I do? Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, onto the bed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we good? We're not good. Okay, oh, oh my god. All right, there's no more. Okay. Or is gonna watch me kill you. No more warnings. Sorry, buddy. I tried my best to be nice, but you just had to ruin it. Okay, come here. I really didn't want to. Oh shit. Okay, put down the weapon. This is the police! Stop resisting! Is that an axe? Oh, that's not good. I'm pretty sure if he hit me with that, that would have gone terribly for me. We are not hitting him with an axe. Okay, we'll hit him with the axe. Oh, I, 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 I was too late. Dude, really? I guess we were supposed to hit him with the axe. It's a long mother- <sighs> Holy shit. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking <laughs> shit. You broke my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girl. Okay, you really Knock need to off. shut your mouth. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Okay. We'll get the money. I have nothing to say to that. Just get the Come money. Come on, let's go. get this over with. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god! What the hell?
I threw him through the freaking wall! Ah, shit. Is he dead? Oh, oh no. Toad. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. So, uh, how good is your insurance? <laughs> I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. I mean, this... Yeah. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. He's alive?! <laughs> Dude, you need to relax. I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. I'm hard to eat the fish cube. You fucking mongrel. Dude, how hard do I need to push Q? Oh shit! She just killed that guy. What? How hard are fables to kill? She's getting her money. I'm just getting what he owes yeah, me. Yeah, uh, I have done. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Is that all he had? Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be. Fine. I'll kill you. You fucking bitch. <laughs> oh Let me help you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you need to stop. He's a yeah. feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Yeah, but still. <clears throat> Jesus. <clears throat> Can we confiscate the axe? Nope, we're just gonna leave on the street. Shit. Just come on. Need a light? Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? Where are the drugs going? These lips are sealed. Sorry. It's a weird turn of phrase. Oh shit, there's lips hey, on her collar. You like my ribbon? Yeah. Uh. If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. It's a cute little collar. A ribbon, I guess. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. What fable was she from? Oh, Woody's up and about. Shit. <laughs> Toad's license plate. Stop. Is we don't totally... have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. <laughs> For tonight, at least. Toad's license plate. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> Sorry. Popper pixel. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing it 
be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Are you sure? Here. Let's see, I've got, uh... I'll make Woody pay me back. 40, 7, 8, 58. That's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a Oh bad no, she back uses there. the boob pocket. Thanks. God damn it, don't I'm still gonna need a do statement. that. It's unsanitary. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. Thanks. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> She's nice. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Aww. I'll see you around, Wolf. No, if I had a tail, it'd be wagging. Bet you ten dollars. All right, Woody, where are you? I'm not gonna arrest him, but oh, I probably should arrest him. Welcome to Fable Town. Telltale Games presents a Telltale story by Pierre Schreit and Ryan Kaufman, directed by Nick Harmon and Dennis Leonard. This art style is stunning. The Wolf Among Us. David Bogan, you did an incredible job. Moonbeaten, good to see. Snow can sometimes be a disciplinary. Snow? Snow White? Was is Snow White technically a fable? I thought Snow White was, uh... Disney. There's no walking on the grass, no White's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Oh, beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. She's acting weird. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. I'm just, just 
please. I didn't see it. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I just said I'm staying out of it. I'll to you later. I don't I care. Will, but I have to go. Bye. I'm staying out of it. As long as you're not cheating on him. It's not what you might be thinking. Okay, now I think she's cheating on him. Oh, God damn it! She's probably cheating on Beast. Man, it's a dog's life. <laughs> uh, I guess check our mail. Yeah, uh, makes day sense. in a row. And that's what happens when you uh, get all your banking statements online. We don't need to wake up the guard, do we? Talk, talk to the desk. Okay. Hey, you wink? No, he obviously is. Probably for the best. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Okay, cool. I don't think we need to touch the suit of armor. That sounds like bad things would happen if we did that. Uh, okay, cool. Ding dong. Nothing else to look at while we wait? Okay. Do 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 Ra da 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 Ra oh Bigby, hey, wait up. Hi. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast, I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Okay. Okay, table time. <laughs> I wonder if he wants phone calls. should tidy up. There's a lady coming. Um... Oh, well, that's not good. Damn it. I don't even have any ice cubes to snack on. Okay, let's go tidy up. Uh, uh, let's turn on the fan. Should help. I hear snoring. Yeah. Bluebeard's file. Who's snoring? Never trusted this guy. Uh, okay, maybe over here? Uh, Colin. Hey, Colin. Get up. Hello? Who the hell is this? Oh, huh. hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? <laughs> I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Damn, everyone seems to be miserable.
Got a smoke? Yeah, sure. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. Oh, he blew the piggy's the house. Fresh then. air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Yeah, what, what do you say to that? It probably also has something to do with how engaged you are in conversation. Jesus, calling my heart! But, uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Wonder if I ate both Look, of his brothers. I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Yeah, that wasn't really my fault, though. I did try to be nice. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. <laughs> you think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. <clears throat> By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, Big B, that is a bit That's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, Faith? Beauty. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. Yeah. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't well, Just give sense. me a drink, please. <laughs> Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Yeah. I owe you that, at Thanks, least, baby. for blowing down your house, I guess. Oh, that is horrifying. Why has he got a painting of a wolf on his wall? Oh no, that's a lady. Oh. Oh, her head was invisible. What? Oh. Oh. Her head was invisible, so I. Th okay. Things happen. Uh, hmm. Wasn't me. I didn't say that. Probably should have cleaned up a bit. Big B. Snow. Uh, Come with me. Snow. Snow's very pretty. Snow. What? 
Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Who's that? Tweedle dipshit? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Oh, that's why. Jesus Christ, I don't have any of my fans on. Yeah. Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl. A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working Oh. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... There's no... I don't think anything yet. Just... Give me a second. It's just... Terrible. So... Tell me what happened. Every detail. I wish there was more to tell. I left the office, walked past the security desk. Luckily, he was asleep. Grimble. Yeah. And I opened the door and... I found her, like this. I came to get you right away. And that's all? That's it, sorry. Big P, did one of us do this? Oh no, yeah. There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Why only a head? If it's only a head, that means it's a message. What is... It's... a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Interesting. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Okay, so not the axe then, because if the axe was very sharp, it would have gone straight through with his face. Uh, she was gone. placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? We should remove the head. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Okay, there's nothing over here. 
Hey, Ghost Twenty Two Panda. I've never played this before, so no spoilers, please. You're more than welcome to chill and watch. Okay. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Yeah. Just some loose trash. <sighs> Damn. And then, obviously, someone. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, yeah. got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. And that wouldn't be Beauty, because Beauty was here way longer than an hour ago. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. About the same fabric. We should move her before anyone shows up. Yeah. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Yep. Well, That's exactly what I said. Yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. The hell is King Cole? And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right it's now. It's a dog's life. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. Okay. I'll meet you at the business office. Okay. Colin, you hungry? That was chapter three? How many chapters is this game? We've already been playing for 40 minutes? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Uh, it's just Must you. Must be ghosts. nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> Fucker. But I, I work here. This is my job. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. Okay, I, I brought you this like news this as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Yeah. Oh, is that how you see things? Yes! Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone what? their life and the safety of the entire community. How is this Tell my me you've fault? Been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. 
any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. It wasn't the woodsman, because right his axe wasn't sharp to enough. Fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah, she was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get Very a handle on this fable. situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Among us. Snow. Yes, sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Why did you hesitate on massage? Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. I saw a giant butt plug in the background. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. Just keep it keep it together, Big B. You would have just pissed him off more. I know. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and- uh, Fuck Crane. <laughs> Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. I was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Is... is he gone? Hi, yes, monkey. thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Uh, it's been a shit day. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. <laughs> ASAP. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Mirror, really mirror on the floor. Squared away, I'm gonna throw you through Let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian. Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't it's have time for this I... shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from <laughs> kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Eh? Woodsman, then. Show me the woodsman. Of course Where is he's he? drunk. What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Okay. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Someone else or someone new. Oh, 
Oh, buff again. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. You're useless, Buffkin. Thanks, Buffy. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. I'll yeah. never do it. Okay. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlyro. Alerlyro. Go look it up. Alerlyro. That means every kind of fur in German. Alerlyro. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. It's a story of donkey skin. Ass there was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh. Not His her daughter. daughter. <gasps> Faith. <sighs> she had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Shit. Should I mock it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Damn, that took a dark turn. Oh, that's. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her name we. Name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No. No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. <sighs> Jesus. Before we do any of that, though. We now have a name. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, faith. Show me, show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. That's what? the second These time. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Is Faith still alive? Why would there be powerful magic concealing a woman who's dead? That wouldn't make any sense. Show me Faith's father. The old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh, shit! What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Yeah, we gotta get red there. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Yeah. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. 
That'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. These lips are sealed, so Sorry. some sort of magic spell. So. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. I'm really hung up over this lips are sealed thing. Because when she first said that, I was like, well, that's kind of weird. But that implies that she's under, uh, if you know what a geas is, it's like a, 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 you're compelled to not be able to talk about something. Which means her boss is someone really, really dark. Like, that, that has to be some powerful magic to stop the magic mirror. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. No, it wasn't Whoever the woodsman. It, was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. I mean, fables are tough. It takes well, chopping off their friends? heads to kill them. I reckon we help the living. Baby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Yeah, let's go help Toads. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence. Because whoever it is at Toad sounds like okay. he's quite violent, and I don't want Not another body on her hands. The news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse in the day. Either way, I bet Crane will be a dick Is about it. You're not wrong. Up there? That's not Woody. Wait here. Who the hell is that? I was a big fat I'm guy. Sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. <laughs> I don't even remember half of this shit. No, this didn't happen. This wasn't me. Colin doesn't make this much of a mess. The hell? Where did he go? Is that his son? Yeah. Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Yeah, Mika. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Uh-uh. So, you know, false alarm. 
sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Something weird's happening. Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Why is... Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Yeah, Toad is lying. Anna. So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... Fine, relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Is someone <sighs> threatening... Grown-ups. Am I right? The child's life? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. <laughs> cool. That's a happy child. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Or the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Uh-huh. But it's not plugged in. Why would- it wasn't on that table. Those two sockets are plugged in. One for the clock, one for the fan. The door's been kicked in! Your lock's busted, too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Yeah. Oh, for Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. That is the face of an innocent frog. Okay. <laughs> it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. That's blood. Bleeding. Why is that? It's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. He's a frog! Told you. Uh... There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yes. Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh. I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. Buddy... If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. Hmm. Toads. Why are you lying to me, oh buddy? Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm you telling you everything that happened. Why don't you, you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're.
you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. Don't pat the poker in your hands so threateningly, Big Day. Come on, buddy. That's where the lamp was. That moat blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Someone well, threw the lamp from there. One of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Yeah. I mean. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. Why are you... It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are it you... It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I, I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? <sighs> oh, scratch marks on the window. some marks here on the windowsill but like i said junior leaves his toys around all the time these don't look like they're from a toy oh well just last night Those when i fingers. come out i was in a, a downright dizzy mate as you would be <laughs> and i plum forgot the keys to this place you have three and I fingers had to climb in through the bloody window really I'm scared junior off to death You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Thought you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Yeah. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Big B, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? Can you tell I me mean, the truth? I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Someone hit Mr. Toad, Toad you're bleeding with a poker and threatened his son. Take off the hat. And told Toad not to tell anyone. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. 
Oh. I don't know if he'd already been there. Shit. Was going there, but he said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. <laughs> well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Dad steals stuff the all fur. the time. Fine bit of dress it is. My daddy's a crook. Why is it in the chimney? Oh, it's her donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. But for my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. But maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. Hi, TJ. Poor dude. I thought I was having a shitty day. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the princess now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a man inside. Covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fable Town business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Alright. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Well, that's not good. Can you hear me? Okay. Are you okay? Hey, answer me. Third time's the charm. Oh, that means it's dead. Oh no. He's been dead a long time. Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with him. No. He's alive? No. Let me go. He's alive? What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Holy shit!
Hey, they're out next week. It's in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. Did you find it yet? Faith. Was this a sewer slide? If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? That makes no sense. Faith left him. So he sewer slided? I don't see why Faith would... Faith wouldn't kill him. And then leave a note saying she was leaving. Unless it was a... Do you still have that letter? Yes. Two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Jesus. through the chair. Yeah. The angle works if he shot himself. Okay. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. guy strange hard edge to this pool like something was here and got moved well spotted i wouldn't have put that together how old is it that looks dry still a little sticky okay it's sharp there's blood on the blade. But he shot himself. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? I mean, dude got shot. Well, shot himself. Did he stab himself as well? I know fables are tough to kill, but Jesus. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. So he didn't shoot himself. This wasn't a sewer slide. This was murder. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. And he took them all? That doesn't really help. Okay, so Faith had some secondhand paperbacks, old encyclopedias. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Faith had something. Faith had something that she was trying to hide. And then her p 
pimp found out. Now, Faith is under some sort of magical spell, right? Under some sort of geese to not be able to talk about it. A spell ma mag powerful enough to stop the mirror from being able to even see her or speak about her. Hence the phrase, um, I cannot, what, what was it? It's not, was it I, it's not I cannot say, it's my lips are sealed. So she knew that the pimps were coming after her. So she left this note for her husband and then left. When she was at Woody's, she was disguising herself with the donkey skin cloak. Why would you use the donkey skin cloak unless you were disguising yourself? Why would she need to do that? That makes no sense. Then there's this supposed sewer slide that's looking more like a murder with the notes included. This looks like whoever it was that killed Faith wanted to make it look like he had killed her and then offed himself. But they were also looking for something, hence they were searching Woody's apartment where Faith had been and Prince Lawrence's home. That's what it looks like. Now, I could be way off and this could all be coincidences and Toad could have been telling the truth, but I highly doubt it. Oh, that's why. Oh, that fits perfectly, Jesus. What is that? It stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. Okay, that throws a spanner in my... Hopefully they're together now. In my, uh, call. we can hope for at this point. That throws a wrench in the works, because why would he have written that? Um, do I have an inventory? No. Okay. I wanted to compare uh, compare the writing to see if they'd like they'd been written in the same thing. Oh my! Stay here. Well, no. now that just kind of proves that it was in a uh, sewer slide. Hey, stop! <laughs> Leave me alone! No. Why, why would I leave you alone? Uh, I mean, I heard the door close. He flies pretty good. Oh, Big B. If the fat guy can do it, why can't you? Holy shit! For being fat and also possibly the murder. Me. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks. But I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, you're covered Bullshit. in blood. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. Why is there blood on your hand? 
You're looking for the woodsman, right? Nope. I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions too. I'm looking for you, mate. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down leads. No. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. <laughs> Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. No, it that his brother's here. Out. That was D. I'm D. He's dumb. Yep. Oh, god damn it. <gasps> oh, Big B, why are you so dumb? You almost Unintended. looked peaceful. Tweedledee and Tweedledum are our lead yep. suspects now. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. <laughs> with an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. They're our lead suspects now. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. Nope. Dee mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. <sighs> Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. We are for now. The woodsman is the only lead we've got. And he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Yeah. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? The Tweedle brothers. I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. Tweedledee and Tweedledum are working for the pimp. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, then go from there. Because Dee didn't kill Faith. Makes sense. That's probably Dee the Dee was approach. coming in afterwards to search where Faith had been. Dee and Dum were searching the two places Faith had been. I don't think they were the ones who killed him. They didn't have any magical weapons or anything. I, st I think Tweedledee and Tweedledum are working for the pimp. Thanks I wish you. there was. <laughs> oh, that's Sorry. cute. I was just going to say thanks for the help. It's been appreciated. Uh, that's all. Of course. I'm just glad I haven't been in the way. Far from it. No destructor. Faith so. wanted the money. She was cursing because he didn't have much money. My guess... It's nothing. I just... Is Faith was doing that one last job before she skipped town and needed enough money to get away. Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution... I, I wish there was more we could do. Prostitution is a job? This isn't how I thought it would be. But it's not a job someone should but be forced Green into. Runs his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. 
This bluebeard guy keeps coming up. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You should stick it out. There are fables that would give up that a lot is... to be in the position. Oh, yeah, well, that's I think it's up. easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Yeah. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. <laughs> I'm full of surprises. Trip trip. <laughs> Flip flap. Well, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Big B. I just be careful, please. The same goes for you. Good girl. You call me a good boy? Just once before you go? Please? No? Okay. What? That's not weird, chat. That's not weird requests. Shut up! Sheriff. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... Uh, I don't know. Why are you lying? I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that <laughs> help? <laughs> this woman's got some sass, but it's not really helpful right now. Regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Okay, now she's definitely lying. Where is he hiding? And I. Okay, I'm stuck here. Whose is that? Someone who left. No, I'm sorry, no. I already know she's not gonna budge until I get enough evidence to call her out on it. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. Advertising. <laughs> You'll get a refund? Fuck you. <laughs> the word's getting out. <laughs> Jesus, big B. I don't know if bothering this guy's the best idea. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I, like I know what they eggs. are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Hey! I like pickled eggs. They're nice. Damn. Oh, yeah, I gave all my money away, didn't I? Damn. Hey. Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Okay. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? I 
I don't have any money. I can't even buy him a drink. Good talk, Bigby. You know what? I'm gonna sit at this bar and I'm not gonna leave. A lot of stools in this place. Not really. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? I don't have any money. You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. I don't have enough money to pay for that. Line? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this woman is nasty. Yep. I think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of here. Well, well, well. Sounds like there might be a bald, bearded man. A woody. Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Hey, Woody. <laughs> oh, he looks apologetic. Oh my god, dude, the axe wound to the back of his head. Just gonna sit down without saying hello. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of yeah. us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please take your hand off me. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Yeah. It's okay, Grant. Man, something about this game makes me want to light up a cigarette and have a little, little bit of rum in a glass. I don't know what it is. funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Yeah, it's probably the noir Big aspect. bad wolf. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. What the hell? <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the oh. night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. Oh, he's talking about Red Riding Hood. Oh, shit. Hey, stop. This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. Woody was fucking going on. to rob Red Come Riding Hood. around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Oh my god, I never even Holly's considered that. Missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna res- Oh, good. Holy 
shits. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. I've tried to be nice. You're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, all right. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Uh-oh. Tried to be nice. What is it with you people and being assholes? Oh, well, that did nothing. Oh, oh my God, Big B. That's a bit far, isn't it? Uh, or not, I guess. Uh oh. Ow. 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 Ow! Ow! Jesus! Oh, no. You've let out the big bad wolf. to break his leg. He's had enough. Yeah, breaking his leg is too far. <sighs> dude, I did not want to break his leg. That's just... Oh, no, dude. I could you imagine? I'm glad I didn't do that. <sighs> Whiskey. Please... To be fair, we were getting our ass kicked. We did just defend ourselves. Shit. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? I was defending myself. Hey, he started it. Well, fuck right. me sideways. The first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Look who it is. Fuck. I mean, I think we let Woody go. Woody was talking about Red Riding Hood. Yep. Fuck, Not a man. chance in hell. Necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me. Yeah, not Your a chance. Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Dude, could you imagine if we broke his leg, dude? Oh, that's... That's way too far. I wonder if there's people who actually, like, did that. Yeah, 
Yeah, we could have torn his arm off stupid, as well. And I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Snow. Please tell me it's not snow. get started with chapter episode two chapter two <laughs> i don't know how this game is broken up oh man the visual i love the visuals of this game Second victim's been revealed. Oh. oh, God, dude. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? Like shit. I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I plead the fifth. Nice. <laughs> Listen, ma'am. Look, I know what you must be going through. No, you don't. Really, I do. No, you don't. But I could use your cooperation. <laughs> That's very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Am I free to go? Uh, that's weird. <laughs> so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Yes? Uh, yeah, I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Uh... Please. Please. Uh... What the hell? Am I free to leave? Oh. oh. We have to go now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. Okay. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. That's handy. Well, hurry up. God damn, dude, that looked agonizing. What? Take the picture of. Take the picture. There we go. Okay. Well, we left the video. <laughs> so. Yeah, I guess they're gonna know it was us anyway, because they'll just review the security tapes.
<laughs> yeah, I'm not talking to him, dude. Snow's dead and he hasn't said anything. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. He's a murderer. He was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. There, there's two of them. Yeah, he has a brother. currently interrogating him. There's two of them, D and Dumb, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. Yeah. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. Okay, who's paid you off, Crane? Crane's corrupt. I'm calling it. Those massages must cost a fortune. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You miss her? Really? You no, know, I never get more homesick than one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Just gonna remain silent, dude. There's nothing to say. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful I don't city, know Crane's story! Things gotten so confused. Like, I don't know what he's... I've never heard of his fable tale. Fa ha fairy tale. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things, make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I just need to find a moment to pause. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. Okay. I'll get it done. Yeah. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. Okay. There we are. We just broke his window. <laughs> whips. Or not whips. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Jesus. Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. His beard is you black. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence. Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Big B? Shh. Please, try to be serious, D. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. Ichabod, why did you I'm supposed to just Why did you say that? You, you didn't were know with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. I'm not Especially messing around. This, this is your only warning. On. Have to find some place to cool off. This is your I'm only warning. Here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. <sighs> Just let me go, all right? I don't have any answers for. What is it now, Big B? You better start cooperating before I get mad. This is oh, it. I'm making you mad. Is that bothering you? Okay. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna hit you. Uh, 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 uh yeah. Mm, fuck! 
This one? <laughs> so, this is how it's gonna be. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Yeah. I can't tell you. And pushing me around isn't gonna change that. My brother and I work hard, and we keep our mouths shut. That's the deal. Okay. I forgot about your brother. Dumb, right? How appropriate. Where was your brother last night? Are you accusing him of something? Of murder, what do yes. You think? He didn't do it if that's what you're getting at. He didn't kill her. You have no fucking right to keep me here. You have no evidence. Give me my stuff and let me go. What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Let's have a look. Money, cigar, and... Use whiskey. Hmm. Look at this. You just carry this around. It ain't illegal, is it? Actually, it is. I think. Here. You punch up my fucking face, and now you want to be best friends? I no just... fucking way! You're out of your mind! Look, things got out of hand. We're past it now. Won't happen again. <laughs> Unbelievable. You gonna have a drink or not? I couldn't hurt, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you are, buddy. Okay. Now let's talk. Look, Big B. This isn't going to work. I'm gonna... Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? I advise you back uh, the hell off. Handle this. Yeah. So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. Oh. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. No. I went to her apartment. No. That's no secret. You saw me. Uh, no, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. Yeah. All right, D. since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. I swear to God, if he says my lips are sealed. Are these lips Anyone are sealed? Anyone can see this isn't working. What, what was the, you what was the phrase again? This much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? <sighs> Listen, man. Come on, Dee, what did you want from Faith? Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? Yes. She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. Why are you angry? You still seem pretty mad about it. Hell, I ain't bothered. Wasn't me she stole from. That's information. Nah, she took something from my boss. Uh, oh! Boss. Bluebeard, shut up! So let's talk about your boss then. God damn it, Bluebeard, you keep ruining everything. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Uh huh. Uh. I know you enjoy my company. <laughs> but Bluebeard is a complete liability. He's ruining everything. Yeah, buddy. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who Was did that it. a dog pun? Was that a dog pun? Oh, buddy, you shouldn't have said that. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. What? At least you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. Why is There's no way Beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. Okay. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest. I advise oh, you, you walk were away. progress before. What is this patty cake shit? Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. Oh! What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself? Immensely. 
buddy. It's time. Okay. Oh, God. I didn't have my hand on my keyboard. I'm sorry. Ah! Okay, buddy. That's enough. You're done. What? No. What's going on down here? Huh? Snow. Episode two, smoke and mirrors. So Snow is alive, which means that the other Snow White was fake somehow. Is there a spell that can let- What the hell was going on? Glamour! Someone glamoured! A prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I didn't lay a hand on him. I wanted to do things the right way, but Bluebeard had other ideas. I tried to stop him, Snow. I shouldn't have hit yeah. D that one time. God damn it. Um. You really scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead. I was working on this case. After a conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Right. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I'm glad you took care of things. Yeah. Uh oh. Thanks. Oh, hey, that was positive! Yay! Unless this snow is fake. Because there is like a- Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I just want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. I mean, how is that your fault? And maybe that's why she was killed. Oh. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. It doesn't make it your fault. That can't be a coincidence. No. You do need we to be careful. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. So it was a glamour. I mean, that's what it is, right? Yeah. So, what's our next move? Um... We just keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. I then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I said we should do I'm our not jobs. I'm going to be an errand girl for Jesus. Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you I once. I didn't say I'm any of this. To lose. What? Where, where did that come from? I didn't say that. I'm sorry. I never even told her to lay low because I knew she wanted to work the case. I know it's dangerous, case. but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Jesus. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. What the f even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you Me? know. Myself. Right. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh. Yes! That is a giant rhino head. Yeah, I don't know if we could fingerprint Snow to prove that it's her, or if we could, like... TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Okay. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Let's go have a chit-chat with, uh, these two. Hey. Oh, that's enough. Hey, Amira, finish. Cancel. What the hell are you doing? What? I wasn't touching nothing. <laughs> What's going on? Don't worry, no harm done. Right, Big B? We'll talk about this later. TJ. 
It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Oh, poor wee kid. Oh, he's like proper traumatized. <laughs> okay, let's be nice. Don't roll your eyes, Bigby. Come on. It's okay. Just start from the beginning. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes, in the river. I wasn't doing anything bad, I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. Yeah. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. It lads. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> there we go. Oh. Careful, Big B. <laughs> I wasn't. I know. <laughs> Who's afraid of the, the big lady bad wolf? Fell in. But but she didn't have her head on. Oh. I thought God. I, I thought she was going to pull me down too. <laughs> cuz cuz she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> oh, that's a hell of a thing to see when you're a kid. Cinderblocks tied to her ankles. Oh, Jesus. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Please tell the truth. Is there something else? Please, don't be mad. Uh -oh. What is it, TJ? I, I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared. And, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you. It's dangerous out there. If someone saw you... You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. <laughs> not this time, Toad. <laughs> Come on, so Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, Stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Stop laughing. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you hear anyone laughing? No. Huh? <laughs> Do you know whose voice it was? No. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, okay, TJ. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's After fine. After I came up again, there was no one there, and I ran home. That's all. I Her promise. Kid, kid. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. <laughs> Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. Oh, oh, the bad wolf with the heart of gold. This game is amazing. How have I never played this before? That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot. What's up? Oh, he has evidence. The witching well chamber. Huh. I guess now we're going to find out what the witching well is. Hey. That's really dark down there. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, that's so disturbing. Uh, uh. Wow. I didn't realize I 
I've never seen her face before now. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. Okay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Okay. Uh, ugh, God. Sorry. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Yeah. It looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. We'll get the book. Buffkin. Oh dear. It looks just like Faith's did. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Faith's head was chopped off magically. We established that before. If the neck wound was the same, there might be a ribbon in her mouth too. Anything? Nothing. So, it's not exactly the same. Okay. Can you close her mouth? God, that's so disturbing, dude. Thanks. Could you imagine seeing your own body lying there dead? She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? <laughs> you can't fool this nose. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you see that? Could be a bruise. A hickey? Was this another prostitute, maybe? A prostitute that dressed up as snow. Rope marks. She was tied up? Because Faith was a they prostitute. cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Looks like Pretty she was a working too. girl. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg. Unless... Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. That makes sense. Why would it change everything else? Might be a I've cheap never glamour. seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one. Just to get the job done. Yeah. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. Mm. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. I mean... Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Well spotted. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow, do you mind if I, um... open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Okay. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. What are we looking at? Well, uh, yeah. You still okay? I Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What have you found out? Her glamour is defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Why? Yes. Regulating it just removes it from the hands of people who can't afford it. Even if it's a defective glamour, it's still better going. than nothing, right? Um. So a prostitute or a working girl is my current theory, which matches with faith. Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? <laughs> I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Uh, you can have a little bit more tact, buddy. Uh, don't just... I mean... Uh. Oh. What is that? 
She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. So she was a prostitute. Someone paid her to dress up as snow so they could, you know, do the... And, uh, and she was murdered for it. Is someone mistook her for snow, maybe? I've seen things Trying like to send this a before. message to Big B? It's definitely magic. Though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Uh, Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Um... Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm gonna try to open it. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, it's a picture. Horse butt. Uh, horse belly. There we go. It's a deer. a deer. What does that mean? Oh dear. Oh. It's Snow's hair. Is that... It's your hair. That's really creepy. I don't like that. Okay, what's this? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think. This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Who did this, Bigby? Jesus. Did the glamour just fade? She's a troll? You oh. Be kidding me. Oh. Oh, goddamn. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? Oh my God! Is she a that sister wasn't of? There before. <gasps> is she the sister of the lady that we got into a fight I don't with? No, many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Okay. She looks like Holly. It's Holly's sister. No, she looks a little. Oh no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister oh, Lily. Oh, she's she not missing, gonna be I... happy. I guess it just slipped through the cracks. Oh no. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Crane, shut up. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. Snow wants to come with me. I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna be furious. They were at the office trying to report that Lily was missing as well, and oh, God. Who the hell is? Is this that Beast? This is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. Oh, You're a Jack. bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after? Like Jack and the Beanstalk Jack, maybe? Oh, Big Bay have some class. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind oh, of a strange dear. morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Okay. <laughs> I don't like that guy. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. I'm really not in the mood right now. 
Well, I was in the mood to play darts, so I guess nobody's getting what they want. Okay, so this guy I'm is just a grade A asshole. Came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. Wait, what? He said it looked like Snow White. You sure it wasn't Tweedledum? Well, no, but he seemed pretty sure. Crane. Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Uh, Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. I hit him Baby, once. Come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button. Now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Dude, you need Cat to got back your nerve. off. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Jack. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. God damn it. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God damn it! <sighs> Boy, I sure walked into that one. Jack. You say one more fucking thing. Just one more thing. God fucking damn it. Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? I mean, that's perfectly fair, to be honest. If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Get the fuck out of my bar. I just want- It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. Shit. It's no- We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I- I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. It's quite lovely. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, maybe we'll get a solid conversation without people arguing and interrupting, but it sucks that it took the death of our sister to, to trigger that. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here in the city. She just got swept away by it. I think we just let her talk, right? She was hooking to pay down debt. I was right. It ate me up to see her that way. I was right. We just didn't see eye to eye on things. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. Pudding and pie, okay. The owner, Georgie, with all its fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Pudding and pie, Georgie. That's a great lead. Holly, it's okay. 
If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? Is that like Georgie Porgy? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. Just see if she wants to say anything else. Well, you've been a tremendous help. Truly. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's it's a kind of... It, it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Yeah, she can have it. Okay, good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations. Especially okay. for fables when, like, I'm assuming stories mean a lot to them. Like stories and, uh... Whatnot. I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from Myths, the owner. Legends. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Thank you. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Yeah, I figured coming in here and breaking legs wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what we did last time, huh? Oh, dear. To put in pie, we've got two dead prostitutes. One of them was glamoured as snow. Um, the only link, uh, I've been suspecting the pimp all along, but the only link we have is this pimp. Oh, hey. There's another ribbon. Is the ribbon the magical thing? Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've Is seen that you here before. Is that people's heads off, You're maybe? always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. Yeah. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a mood right now. I have a way It'll with be fine. I have a way with people. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I've heard. I wonder if she wants me to beat him up. Okay. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie. Thank you. Where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. Your pleasure is our pleasure. Your desires are our desires. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. It's a you spell, ask Georgie. That is absolutely a spell. Georgie has them under a spell as long as they're indebted to him. So they, Jesus Christ! Oh, for fuck's sake! What do you think you're doing? Oh. You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. You fucking dozy bitch. I can take it from here. Huh. Good luck. I might need to blur this for YouTube. Um, it's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. Okay. How many times do I have to say it? Is there like... You're supposed to turn the over clients here on. No, That's sure. your job. You yeah, want them to feel I'll, have to, I'll have you to want censor them to this. Hey. A lot of censorship's gonna happen oh, in this section. Jesus. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. Okay, this guy's not very you. nice. Stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. We're not finished. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. Okay. What do you want then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, <sighs> come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Okay, I don't like or, this. Or uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I can arrange whatever you like. For the right price. Holy shit! 
Yeah, I... Uh, None of that, George, yeah. I'd rather just strike a macho pose for a moment. Don't make me laugh. I hate Jesus, you. Bigby, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. You're a dick. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Uh, are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? Is People it get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> that's quaint. Especially coming from you. I don't actually the know if that's illegal. The would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. Mate, someone's and got a clean that And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. He used to be something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on then. Okay. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you wanna do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? I feel like this guy gets off on being hit. Oh. Oh no, fuck! <laughs> he broke his own stereo. You! Tear your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! <laughs> God! Be proud of yourself, mate. Damn. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Hey, what's up, dude? Fuck up, Hans. Hans? Like Hansel and Gretel, Hans? Huh. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Okay. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in it? <laughs> You're a fucking moron. Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills. I have a fairly good idea where to start. I like hey, Hans. That's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Wait, what? Okay, I didn't tell him to do that. He did that by himself. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. <laughs> hey, now. I want the book. Plus, I probably need some cigarettes. Cut the crap, the Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. I'm trying to be nice here. This is well, the last George, time I'm going to be nice. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Okay. All right. Do I not really tried. touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. I tried. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh 
well. Oh, shit! What's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. I mean, Give it to me. We can either. Big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Okay. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I do, I'm trying so hard not to destroy everything. Because I don't want to be that wanna guy. Stand back. All right, all right, okay, all thank right. God. Oh, so he did have a key for the safe. Wow. Who'd have thunk it? Bloody come on, then. Is that Ariel in that picture? Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Nice money. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? I mean, how would he know? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Yeah. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? <laughs> don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with oh. their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Hey. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Okay. Cool. Let's go have a chat with a lovely lady. George? Oh, money. Money! Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. There's faith stuff here. Makeup case. Someone was open, but there isn't even a lock. Someone was rummaging through her stuff. Lock's been busted open. Okay. Someone's take all of Lily's stuff. And then there's this. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Interesting. Okay, let's see if the young lady wants to have a conversation. Excuse me. Oh, she has clothes on I now. heard Thank you God. out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. Okay. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. She's Ariel? Once upon a time. Does that help? You have legs. Had a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. Holy shit. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number. But where? We can't talk about work. This is can't. a murder case. I mean, can't. Can't. They are. So I was right. His lips are sealed. 
Discretion is our guarantee. I was right when I said it was a spell. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's okay. last Calm entry. Down, Who's Mr. Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. It's a spell. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Clever girl. Okay. What would I need to do? Clever girl. Three hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Huh! <laughs> I don't have the money. Wait here for a second. God damn it, dude. I keep... I, I gave all my money to that lady at the start. So she just paid out of pocket for this. Open arms. <gasps> Not 207. Clever girl. You'll think of something. Oh my god, I owe her the $150. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Me too. Jesus, dude, that's very clever. A way to get around the geese without, like, it, you know, breaking it. Oh. Aww. That's kind of cute. So long, copper. I do Italy. Go. It's just as well that Big Bay's a fable, because I'm pretty sure he'd have every kind of throat cancer from all these cigarettes by now. Yeah, this shit'll kill ya. <laughs> Really? Really, Bigby? Well, let's... Okay. <laughs> Lost cat. They should probably repair that. I'm pretty sure that's deliberate. Like, cutting the cord. rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Okay. And then ding-a-ling-a-ding-dong. Hello? Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Beauty? You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should tell him. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. I mean, I so did say it was what are you doing here? nothing to do with me. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes. The, the troll. I did see her. Oh. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Um, go Tweedledee. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I took out a loan for back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked 
Man. Crooked Beauty. man. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Crooked man. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Who's the crooked or man? someone named Mr. Smith. <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. <laughs> Uh, have you seen Snow have here? Have seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Okay, did you know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. Sorry. It's fine. For God's sake, use Thanks. a Wait, ash tree. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Okay. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. Okay. That won't be hard. <laughs> There's an ash tree right there and he Listen, just puts baby, it out on the floor. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Yes. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just, well, you never know. It's not much of a report if I start picking and choosing which facts to include. I see. Well, here we are. Which one was it? 207. Someone's having the time of their life right now. Jesus, listen to them. I'm not opening that door. I don't want to have to edit more stuff. <laughs> Besides, I don't have a warrant for that place, but I do for this one. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I- This is the room Lily was in. Ugh, <sighs> fine. Thanks, beauty. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Oh, Baby. no. How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him, that's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! I know what this place is! This is a murder investigation. She's helping me- Stop lying to me! Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me! There's nothing going on! I'm mad! <coughs> okay. Hey, master! I guess I finally see you for who you are! Stop! Stop it! Is this you staying out of it? Listen to your wife. Just calm down and- Beast! Oh, God damn it! Beast, please stop. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! I really That's don't want to hurt you. I told you! <laughs> Okay, I didn't want to do that. Jesus. What if I wrestle but then don't do anything? Oh, he throws me into the wall. God damn it. Beast, stop. Beast, you really need to stop, buddy. Holy shit. 
dudes! Uh, get off, please. Oh my god! No, I'm not hitting him. I'm not hitting him. That's... I just blinded him, dudes! Oh, no. You oh. ruined everything! She's my fucking wife! Dude, okay. Oh! Well, we got the door open. Shit. What have you done? Bigby. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You, you oh don't want to see this! Oh my god. Beauty, stay in the hall. What? Why? What's going on? Stay in the hall- <gasps> Oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this- Is this- Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. I... So that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Can we please not talk about this? You see what kind of stuff happens here? Just drop it. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I There's need you the to same be sure perfume. No one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just same do what perfumes he says. on the table. I'll explain later, okay? That's the same Baby, alcohol that what kind of a he person could well. do something like this? I think that's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I think. Hang on. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Okay. Uh, apple? What's an apple? Do you smell something? No, just apple. Playing out the Snow White scene. Like Snow White, you know, bit the poisoned apple, then fell asleep. So whoever hired her wanted her to pretend to We shouldn't even be in here. Fall asleep? Maybe? So that he could um What is that? Yeah. It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Monday version of her story anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Hmm. What is it? Um I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. Yeah. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh, no. Do you think it was poisoned? No. It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple, which is really creepy when you think about it. You know, she almost died when... Uh. <laughs> yeah, stop talking. <laughs> What's she breathing? Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Jesus. Okay, can I not look at that perfume? I guess God. not. He brought wine. Oh, that's Classy. wine. That's not whiskey. Okay, so that's not D. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Yeah, me too. Apparently not. Okay. Right. <sighs> Poor girl. What's this? For my arrival. Okay. Um, what's... Wait, what is this? Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no, she must have been wearing it. He killed her and then, and then he took it back off? No, there would be blood on it if he did that. No, there's no blood yeah. on it. It must have been torn some other time. 
during Hanky Panky. What are you thinking? Um, <laughs> he could be a crossdresser. This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. Guys, he could You're be right. a crossdresser. It's the same dress. It fits. <laughs> He's acting out scenes from the book. That poor girl. She couldn't have known. Uh oh. She probably just needed the money. Oh, it's she beast. could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Georgie took advantage of her when she was in trouble. He's a real predator. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's a disgusting POS. <sighs> she must have been so scared. Um, don't make me sad. Come on. I'm already sad enough as it is. Alright, here we go. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Sorry. Hmm. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? It looks like Snow's coffin from the book. He's reenacted the scene with her lying here, surrounded by flowers. Why the murder? Mr. Smith put Lily to rest here. You're right. The bed is the coffin. He's acting out another part of the book. God, I can see the whole picture now. It, it all goes together like you said. Please don't walk in the blood. put that girl in a snow white dress and, and recreated the whole story from the book with the apple and, and the deep sleep and everything. You're a better detective than I thought you'd be. Wow. Thanks. So he planned it all out. <laughs> Asshole. He had all the details noted down. Only then, when it comes time to kiss her and wake her up. Yeah. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. You can leave. I want to see what's under the bed. Oh, wow, there he <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's really oh, those pictures creepy. of the dead girl. Oh, why is my... How do you know? Why'd my voice... I'm go? in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh, no. Bigby. That's this kind snow. of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. <sighs> Someone's watching through the His mirror. The first snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? Is it Crane? Crane. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's a bad Crane! Right, well, that's a hell of a discovery. I'm pretty sure Big B's about to. That motherfucking piece of yeah. shit. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Big B, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the. I just need to find snow. It's broken, Why? dude. You saw that What's already. What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Oh, Bigby, calm down. Calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Shit. Holly to the business oh, yeah. office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the Trip Trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip Trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Excellent. Thank you, Beast. Big B! 
Wait. What? What? Snow's... <sighs> Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Uh -huh. Just please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. That's fair. That is fair. Thank you, beauty. Oh, Ichabod Crane, I really hope you're the killer so I can rip you in half. That's so creepy, dude. Oh, that picture. Ugh. God. I'm um, honored to be asked to speak tonight, even if it's tradition that everyone speak. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was okay, truly Snow close safe. to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. We can't interrupt the. I won't oh, um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. I'll so miss worrying will, about you. In time, I'll miss our fights. Equal in strength I'll miss you. Mourning her loss. Holly. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so great Now you will never die from indifference of her. or lead a tedious How she life. Could be stubborn Goodbye, and sweetheart. patient. Thanks for Rash everything. And thoughtful. Vivian. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for um pageantry. You were a big bright Most shining all, star it seems in this shithole of Lily a town. Loved and I miss you already. Loved her friends and friends. She loved being um. around them. In good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Damn, dude. Bigby, is everything okay? No. Not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. I'm sorry. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and wait, you what? have the nerve to show your face here. After you lie, after you promise me. What? Holly, wait, that was Crane, just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? Damn, this is such dude. total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. Oh. It's your turn to talk. Oh, this sucks.
I mean, we had no choice, did we? This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Snow, Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, all right? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least, Lily, and making her look like you while he was... You know. I think that's about as softly as you can... He plays your story over and over again. That. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. What do you say? You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby... Don't confuse things. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's yeah. been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. Are you okay? You don't have to do this right now. I'll be fine. Okay. Jesus. Imagine someone showing her the picture. At the motel. Like, Did you find anything? How psychopathic would you have to be? No. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, coming! She was smiling, so hopefully that was a good thing. <sighs> Dear. Constable? Oh, Wait, like, easy now, for girl. God's sake. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit. You say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And yeah. you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. God damn it! So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. No, no, Ladies, no. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... The hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly oh, as planned. Oh, I should have said yes. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? Stop this shit. Right now. He hasn't exactly been a good sport about this. Not making our lives any easier. I should have said yes. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly? Don't move! It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's oh, just a dead Oh, you mother! I'm gonna kill you! Holly. No! 
I got it done. You motherfuckers! No! She okay? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. Thank God for that. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right, then. Very good. Thanks, buddy. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it, then. Miss White? Big B? Take care, buddy. Thank you. So... To recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. Good job, Buffkin. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it? Just... Wait for the mirror. Yeah. Damn. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? I think because someone's trying just... to blackmail Crane. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. Okay, hear me out here. This is... Out there, I know we saw a picture of Crane with Snow, but he Crane is obsessed with Snow. I don't think Crane would want to kill Snow. I think someone's framed Crane to try and take control of like Fable Town through Crane's influence. Maybe like it's just too. It's too. This is too obvious. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really... Terribly. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Her Holly did. Time heals everything eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight. Sure. It's just. When stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels 
kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it. Jesus When things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. Dude, that's I no. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What, what is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Oh, son of a biscuit. What do you mean, missing a piece? Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. God damn it, Mirror Crane! Can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? Yeah. We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. Shut up, Buffkin. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that mind that. Come help me look. <laughs> that was a South Park reference for anyone who missed that. What does he have to say? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. Um, his witch? The black market yes, like glamours, the maybe? His... Oh. Snow glamours from... Jesus Christ, I should be a detective. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault. All right. You, you mean it? Yeah. Uh, all right. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Damn, dude. <sighs> Where am I going? Oh, I'm going over here. Oh, there we go. Sometimes being a big muscly man helps. The Mr. Crane said you'd pay to have the plaster redone my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the effing walls. Please fix it. I can't run out of that room as it is, and I've always been waiting for days. Not to mention I already promised there's a big crack in glass in the front door. Guess what? It's worse now. Get it together, Mr. Toad. It's not good. Dear Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix air conditioning in our units. Holly Blue. And this one. Any updates to extra funding I requested? I'm going to do some improvement. The farm should not be a punishment. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Damn. And there's the key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Do you really want I to want know? I want to know. I need to know. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Shit, <laughs> it's... Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Oh, God. A sickening. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? The king of... Oh, the it's ring! It's a ring, at least. 
Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Ring of something. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. Jesus he set Christ, the Buffkin. meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None oh. of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. If oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Buffkin! Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. I'm gonna stay silent. It's okay, we can all work together, right? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Oh. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Oh, dear. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Uh -oh. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. Yeah. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably uh -oh. have an address or a phone number or something. Holly's and Bigby is free to go there like if he this. likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. True. Sure. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Uh, if yeah. He has Lily's things. That'd probably be the There's no way, way that we don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? The Tweedles might we not be smart, but whoever is remember their boss I don't know is definitely where it is. smart. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, Bluebeards. crafting a full I can't let you interfere cushions. with an investigation. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Lilies. Here 
I'm pretty sure Lily will have. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Tweedles. I'll join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. So here's my thought. The D's aren't very smart, right? Twiddle Dum Twiddle D, not very smart. But whoever their boss is, is smart. There's no way they would do that. Crane's apartment, there's no point, right? Crane's gone. Crane's not up there. There might be evidence and there might be an address to where he's going for the witch, but there might not be. Like, why would you write that down? Holly's bar, though. There's- Lily would have a reason to write down the address. Lily would have a reason to write down who she's buying these counterfeited glamours from. It just makes sense to me. identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. I hope you know what you're doing. So do I. So do I. I really hope Holly doesn't hate me for this. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Thanks. Friend. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, dear. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Oh, he's tripping on happy pills. Or, Grant, I guess, like... Really, you... You shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. <sighs> Poor guy. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> Jesus. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Uh... Buddy. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate? And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? Calm we'll down. get to whatever you're here for in a sec. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? I mean, he's not wrong. That was a Can't really shitty thing. you be in there help things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away, though, didn't they? True. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. Sorry. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Um, Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I'm not gonna hurt anybody. All right, one, one drink, and then just to respect Lily's memory. 
to the dead. All right, now help me. God, I hope he didn't drug. Uh, oh no. Gren, the doc said you needed to rap. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. Okay, guys. <laughs> Enough. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. What? This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you. We need you Woody what he to thinks. leave. Just get out of here, Woody. Yeah. Just, just go, buddy. Before another fight starts. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. Oh, what a Jesus. day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Grin won't remember this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Poor, poor lady. Dude, Grin is completely out of it. Is that, that's Lily's stuff. Uh-oh. Well, there we go. Excellent. Let's have a look. We take it out to the bar so we don't. Oh, okay. Uh oh. That you, Woody? But I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Shit. Sorry, lady. Why is the Tweedle in the background? Do you even give a shit about us? The strays? The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, Good and we ain't friends. the brooch she stole off of someone that she ate. 
Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I want to apologize. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that I really happened. am. No, you didn't. I mean, I am really sorry about everything that happened. I'm going to be honest. I should have been honest, though. That's our little book of customers, is it? Oh. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Because it's the right thing to do. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. <laughs> Fair enough. Go back to sleep, lady. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Hey, Jim. Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts initials. Not sure which one is the witch, though. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Before, a few days ago... I thought I knew everyone in Fabletown. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should it's try going up to Crane's eight. place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. The meeting is at 2. We cross-reference at Crane's, Crane's apartment. apartment. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. In the meantime, I'll see what I can I do. I think the, the okay. Tweedles are Love working. Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. The Tweedles are working with someone that's way too clever to let them leave the evidence behind. Way too clever. There's no way. Hey, Buff. Bluebeard burned everything. What? What? I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. There was nothing I could do. Honest. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the Crane's stuff? So Bluebeard is the bad guy. Shit! I should have gone to the Tweedles. If there was something here I could use to find him, there isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. Damn it! What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. So Bluebeard's... She's going to be very disappointed. Bluebeard's bad. Good luck. Damn it! <sighs> By now it'll be too <clears throat> goddamn late. Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby, great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten- I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? 
<laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? Um... D or dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. I was hoping to have a talk with D or dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can if tell. They don't put Sorry. ash on his clean floor. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. Thanks, buddy. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Oh, dear. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Big B! Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. God damn I'm it. sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, right? Right. Stop putting your cigarettes out on people's floors! Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Okay. What's that about? That sounds they like a do code. Have their quirks. I hate dogs <sighs> and you know it. Hakey? That sounds like codes. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Oh, Sincerely, maybe Brother not. Dumb. Couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. Unless dog I, means me. I know these me. guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. Unless I'm really the dog. About helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. I wonder if they're the front desk for Anyways, a criminal just organization. Saying, you just don't know them like I do. People, sure, fly catcher. People come to them for loans and help and stuff, and then they connect them to criminal organizations you know about this uh, no hmm. don't touch why not I'm sure you have your reasons but it's just they, they've done so much for me AD AD let's see if they got a file on a crane Oh, A to D. Oh, I meant, um... Crane, here we go. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. Times 12 times How's he planning to pay this all back? Oh. Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Huh? Did he hire Donkey Skin to be Snow White at one point as well? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. Looking for a fool. Okay. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. See? I don't trust him. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Why are you distracting me? Where's Cindy Bean? Vacation apparently like Christmas is somewhere in Europe. Okay. Interesting. Who's Brannigan? Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye on Oh. Her. Oh, Bran oh, Brannigan's the detective that was in interviewing us. This Holy is Jesus. worse than I thought. 
Georgie has an interest. Shit. Georgie wanted her to prostitute herself. Find anything? Not what I need. What, what, if, what if you're wrong about them? Okay, buddy, you need to stop. I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Don't say anything, Bigby. Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to- Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They shot at Snow White. Bigby, what happened to your- They shot me, too. You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! Yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I I, I... I didn't know. Holly and Grin both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Yeah. Do you get it now? I mean, you could be nicer to the kid, but yeah. <sighs> I, I, I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Oh, shit. I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Oh, shit. Well, that key you found should work. Thanks, buddy. Why am I looking at the key? Yes, it's a keyhole. Let's look at it. <laughs> All right, let's use the key. I really hope Flycatcher isn't evil. That would suck. He seems like a good kid. Well, this looks promising. Wow. Buffy. Balance scales. Right, uh, let's check this package first, I think. JD. JD. Oh. A book. A ledger. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Yeah. Something. This doesn't really tell us much. JD, Justin Dunderley. By this butcher. Oh, what is this stuff? Interesting. Um, ASAP crooked, crooked man. Now that's interesting. I'm sorry. I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Very he sending money to? interesting. The crooked, crooked man. man. Care of the lucky pawn. Do you know what that is? The crooked man's been mentioned once before. I'm gonna take the money. This crane's a piece of shit. Is that what you needed? I don't think so. But it's interesting. There's more going on here. I was right when I said we still that need to find Weedles that were the witch front runners though. for criminals. Um, what about this? Hey, Big B. Yeah? Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, it but... It works for well, me. Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Seems like he did a really? good enough job. That would be... thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Snow's hair. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why w We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. AG, we this got it. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? Yeah. That's not a pleasant thought. Anti Greenleaf. White Plains Avenue. Hey, gee. This is it. 
Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Wait, how did he... Thanks, Fly. Business office? I know who she is. Okay. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is late. it. All right. God damn How it. I want to do this. Um, let's listen first. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Oh, that's not creepy at all. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Okay. Just so we're not strangers. The witch can like she's making black market glamours right well i'm the sheriff and this is my partner boss <laughs> pleased to meet you how do you do is there um is there anything you need is I'm, auntie greenleaf yeah home? i'm pretty Does sure this here? is annie you greenleaf mean my mom? she ever oh, you know right the nightstand levitate turned frogs into cats that kind of thing is she a witch dear no, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there uh, something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. Why is she suddenly acting so scared? Hmm? I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, yeah, that's Greenleaf. That's way too suspicious. Okay, Sheriff. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Yeah. That your mom? Uh-huh. Interesting. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Honky tonk. Your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. Okay, now I'm thinking this is a real child again. It's Just the way that she panicked earlier was like kind of... This. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Okay. What a suspicious tree. Why is, what is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Oh. Trinkets. Um, like glamours? Interesting. Not here. There's no one here but me. Interesting. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. It doesn't make sense. Well, there we go. And nothing that looks like Crane was here either. I'm sorry, I nothing. saw someone moving behind See? there. There was someone moving behind. I saw that. There's someone behind this. Where do you buy your. How much longer do you think it'll be? I swear to God, I saw something move. Take care, Ruben. Butcher from the, the butcher. butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. <laughs> I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his I do too can I go to bed now please
Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. If I remember rightly, no, 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 twiddling no, no, no. Please, with that please, please, undoes please, please, glamour. That exactly where you found it. I'm no pretty sure. Oh, honey, Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if when she discovers we open a this, somebody stuff, okay? is going to transform. She checks all the time to see if things move. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get in trouble. And there we go. Anti green leaf. <laughs> of course. It hurts when you do it that fast. Called it, and then I, I went back and forth. What? You picked the wrong night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, Whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something. We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. Oh. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Snow, it's too much. We can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's All done. All she's done is protect residents and Bigby, try to give them this something. This is an order. Burn the tree. No, look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. Right. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Snow, do you really want to kill this tree for Fabled Town? Or do you want me to burn it because you're pissed off at Crane for what he did to you? They stole my hair from my apartment, Bigby. So, yeah, I'm pissed, but I still know what's best for this town. We're not burning the tree, Snow. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. 
I couldn't do it, like... This is a safety net for people who fall. I feel like Snow's uh, kind of going to be pissed at me for that, but... I wish I could have offered her a job. That's Crane's car. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. I didn't... Oh, I only smashed I one thing. Come to audition, you bitch. Oh, okay. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know, now! Well, then, there we go. Hey, you can't just go in there. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... Oh, my God. Beat me. Wait, don't. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I j just have to get this stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. I really want to punch you. Please, it. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No, this will work. I assure you, it, it must. I went to you. Damn you, come on. Please, tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... it just... Oh, God! We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... that was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I oh. love I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love oh. me, Craig. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Don't say that shit. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? I mean, I, I don't think he did it room. either. I don't need to see the room. There's a lot he has to answer for. That is true. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. Yeah. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? Yes. We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. No, you do. <sighs> yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Yeah, I agree. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? <laughs> we'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not going to kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. Get the fuck up. Now. I guess we know who's in charge, Sheriff. 
Sometimes it's fuzzy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she's still you holding that tree against to me. run that office. You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return? Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. Jesus, I thought Bigby was about to punch him despite the fact I didn't select that. Don't run. What are you saying? Uh, that's not suspicious at all. Uh oh. Oh, uh oh. Shit. Is it the Tweedles? Yep. Oh, it's more than just the Tweedles. Oh, there's the Tweedles. Who the hell Hi. are you? What you got there? Look. It's recently come under our attention that you're, how shall I put this, attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds, pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? Yeah. I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. She's got a weird tattoo. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. Mm. Oh my up. god! You're interfering so. with official Fable Town business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? What? what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, bloody Ma Mary. That's it. Thank you. You're Bloody you Mary? Know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This is my job. I like my job. Oh. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the soft puppet now. He's in custody, so move your car. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. She got a silver bullet. Is that what she loaded? Oh my god! Oh my god! Bigby? Mm. I dodged her, right? Oh. Oh dear. Should have used silver, boys. Holy Jesus. How many rounds do they have in those th oh. 
Am I just gonna keep walking? Oh. Oh. The big bad wolf just showed up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big mistake, Fasa. Oh. Okay, she definitely has a silver bullet. There's no way she'd be that calm if she didn't have something. Fuck you, wolf. You're lucky I'm feeling nice. You're lucky I'm feeling nice. Oh, yeah, hey. Sorry about that. And there's the silver bullet. God damn it! Oh, God, pick me! That was a good show, but, you know, I just didn't know when to end. <sighs> oh, it's the woodsman's eye. Bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just Come on, Big B! Right, Wolfie? Come on, Big B! I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> can you argue with these results? Come on, Big B! Because I know I can't. Just take him, okay? What? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Just get out of here. Is that the crooked man? It's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. Crooked man's the one behind all of this. He has blue beard working for Hello, him. Ichabod. Crane working Got for him. To ache? Tweedles, Bloody Mary, Andy. No, oh, sorry, Georgie is his name, not Andy. Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Kinda like your boyfriend here. Too pussy to ruin a Tweedle's day. Ooh. Oh my god! god. A beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old. In Holy the shit! Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. I'm amazed we're still alive after everything we went through last time. Oh. Oh. See you around. Oh, no.
no. Oh, oh my God. Are a nasty God. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. Dude. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. God damn. Oh! We can't keep moving this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Dude, that sucks. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, this sucks. Oh! Oh, look away! No way! We're doing it again? Oh, Bigby, what is wrong with you? Oh, he's stretching it! Oh! Jesus Christ! Oh, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. Hey, Colin. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This is the job. Quiet. Just relax. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. <laughs> oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerves set. <laughs> we'll be down in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Damn, dude, this is brutal. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> There. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Oh, Jesus. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Dr. Swinehart is such a sweetheart. I dude. will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swinehart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin, Swiney. <laughs> I got a feeling they don't like each other. So, how do you, um, feel? Like shit? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. Yeah. You should see how you look. Thanks, Colin. I'm glad you're not dead. Hey, that's what I said to her. Way back when. You, uh, 
you stop breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. Jesus Christ. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Snow, I'd never leave you. Aww. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong <laughs> way. Colin. I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. Yeah. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that. She did there. save our life. We were about to no be problem. executed. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Dude, I was about well, to be man dead. Thinks he's got snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still yeah, would exactly. Been <laughs> okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls. And it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. Yeah. We'll see. Oh. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. I mean, that's true. We need to do things the right way. Yeah. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. But you can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint? And thought behind yeah, things will never hurt anyone. We, we really Look, shouldn't be beating people up. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. It's true. That is true. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book. Straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. Okay, Colin, you need to calm down, buddy. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night- what you turned into, it can't happen again. I didn't kill anyone. Monsters, the fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, I was shot. And that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried, and we can all move on. I'll do better. Yeah, I mean, we'll like do I'll better. do my best. We but... have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. She's not wrong when it comes to actually like I'm being better because we kind of messed up. up. But, but that was also something I, I had to important. do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Yeah. Thanks, Colin. Like, he'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... 
I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Okay. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. Uh, clearly I'm not. not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? <sighs> Jesus Christ, why is Snow... Residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? She's acting like... Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. She's got a taste of power yes, and now she's in turning into right a now. thunder bitch. Why is she executing Marissa. her power like Marissa. that? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Colin, Something about your time. prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Honestly, aye, aye, nice. Captain. Like, these are changes Jeez, need to be made, but not right now. We're in hey, the middle of a war. You're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? I wouldn't do Look, that to him. Uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Yeah, I, we, we, there's, there's gotta be a limit. Like, he can't afford glamour because of the corruption of the business office. That's not his freaking fault. That's why I've been so gentle with Toad. Crane has effed everyone over. Hey, Nursa. I just, Snow has, like, she has good points. We do need to be better and we have been doing things badly. But that fight wasn't my fault. Forcing everyone to to abide by these rules when the rules are broken right now, it's not their fault. That's just kind of... She's going too far. Especially when the farm is going through so many issues. Like, we literally had... Like, the farm's got so many issues with it right now. It's Hi, a prison. Sheriff. We read the Hi, email. Marissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? No. <laughs> you didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. Yeah. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Yeah. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. My lips are so sealed. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, a 
with the pudding and pie. I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? Yeah. These lips are sealed. But that's confirmation. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? Yeah. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are they after snow? Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. And your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Yeah, that's the source of the spell. Do you like it? Hmm? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. Yeah. That's why you can't tell me anything. Exactly. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Don't take it off. That's probably how the girls died. Like, if it could just be taken off. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! Lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Yeah, that's what I thought. You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah... Please... Don't. We almost killed her. Even though I... I chose an option! Not to do it! You did it anyway! Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Or girl. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? She doesn't be trust a lot of Snow. Trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Oh, uh, what do you want? What? Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They uh -huh. said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. We should go to Beauty and Beast. Beauty and Beast are related somehow. Marissa's basically that the main was character. abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Yeah. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Yeah. Okay then. 
Good work. To find so, a about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? Yes. What could they know about the Crooked Man? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. Yeah? She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. Yeah. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Of course you do. I know it's the outfit change, by the way. Jesus. Okay. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed. Oh God. They're having a domestic. Hey guys. Oh. What do you want? What? You called well, me. You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Dude, what? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you. Bigby. What Yet now? All the sneaking around and secrets. Somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? Asshole, dude. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Genuinely, what an asshole. I was investigating a murder. Yes, I, I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. <laughs> Already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. Why am I and then not you run and call him again? Mm. Well, I trust Talk about him. living in the past. He's keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Why would you do that, Big Bang? Stop knocking on things. On you didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. Jesus. I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Mm. Welcome back, guys. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Jesus Christ. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out from the Crooked Man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Oh. It's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. I'm getting a headache Why this, are you dude. being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. Yeah. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. Yeah. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. Like, this is a problem no, that's affecting everybody. Don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, 
okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. Uh -huh. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Hmm. Why are they so scared of the phone? Hi there, you've reached beauty. And beauty. Oh god, that's disgusting. Something fabulous. Oh, god. Um, let me just uh a day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. We owe some money. How much? Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Okay. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. Who's Jersey? So, when I needed money. That's where I went. Yeah. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. Yeah. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I they guess stole he's that. hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. Yeah. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. Maybe I can. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hey, Hold on, you've baby. already Don't been go shot there. by Silver Sounds Bullet. like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... What? You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. How do you know? And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. So it's a storage... How did Sorry. you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. Right. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. This is getting deeper and deeper. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. 
You wouldn't understand, Big B. <laughs> no. Jesus Christ, shut up, phone. Probably not. Shut up, phone! So, where are you going? If I mean, it sounds like the silence, cut above is the best. I'd like to know where it's coming from. Location. Oh, uh, God, these guys annoy me. <sighs> Trying to be nice. Yeah, we're definitely doing the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Like, getting loans is one thing, but delivering strange Wait, packages. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? <sighs> what do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. Really? Really appreciate it. Really? What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Yeah. Lucky for you, what I am going to do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please. I don't I'm like sure these guys. Do the right thing. Uh, it's like they expect to be treated differently. No smoking, eh? Yeah, we should probably stop smoking. It's bad for the meat. Big B, for the love of God, that's a floor, not an ashtray. Okay, so there's like no drinks, so they don't get stock in regularly. They have like nothing in stock. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Yeah, this is a front. This is quite obviously a front. Right. A front for what? That's the question. Is look, there's no meat. There's no fruit. There's nothing. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Yeah. Who'd want to eat this? They wouldn't. That is the point, my friend. Hey. Big B Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <laughs> um, let's see. You ever seen anyone what look do more guilty? in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. Uh -huh. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. I'm going to let him keep talking. Ribs. Roast. Tongue. Got some tongue. Dude here. doesn't even know his stock. So none of that interests you? <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You'll find anything else. Yeah, this guy is we just, uh, ready to spill. We the do beef. more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's a. I'm just going to keep letting him talk, yeah. dude. He's digging himself a grave. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? <laughs> what? Oh. oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't oh, go boy. anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. What was that button? I'm sorry. What was that button? What did he just push? Is that a panic button? Shit. Yeah, that's a panic button. Oh. That's a lot of pigs. Or that uh, looks more like cow. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Fresh blood. Why is there so much blood? Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Look, uh, can, can you come back tomorrow, maybe? Okay. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Okay, I think he's not going to spill any more beans if I stay silent. I'm pretty sure at this point he's just running for his life. I'm 
just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, dear. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. Here we go. Hey. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? <laughs> How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Listen. Just calm the fuck down, yeah. okay? I just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got... I think I'm going to let him talk things. again. But it's a hard one to live with. It's locked. Oh, stupid Johan. They locked you in. Look, I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm supposed to do. Well, who locked the fucking door? Yeah. I, I'm not part of their crew. I, I, I don't know who or, or, or what goes on back there. Crew? The crooked man's people. Confirmation. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Uh -huh. I let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. Yeah. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. We'll figure stuff out later with I him. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. Nothing. All right. Open up! Open up! The wolf's here to visit! And bang. What? Is that a chemical lab? For making bad things? Jesus Christ. And when he hit the button, it lit up that red light. Nosebleeds. Jeez, what? What is this place? That's a I lab. told you, Bigby. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. <sighs> Warning lights. Yeah. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. Why? You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes well, You never or reported this. Where were you when they took this place from me? How the hell am I supposed to know if you didn't tell me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm going to sort this all out. You got to report this shit. Unless he did and Crane... Oh. Oh, it's the... So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Jesus. Okay, let's have a look around. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. Okay. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It breaks it's from everyone's back in limbs. the homeland. Yeah. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and Yeah. Do I really need to explain this? So, this is how much is owed by everyone? Or is this how much is requested by everyone? Huh. Looks like math or something. <laughs> Good job, Bigby. 
on here you know anything about this I, I I don't know a lot of fables out there need a lot of things Vivian Thrushbeard Rose Red Narissa's on here maybe just don't touch anything back here please Miss W is that Miss White Snow White Lily Faith is on here as well shit these are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Shit. Because MS is, is that MS, so Miss White, I believe MS means that you've been married and are divorced, which would make that Snow White, because Snow White was married and then divorced. James, who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Which means Snow White has something to do with this. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, and magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials, and the slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. It's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. Yeah. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. How the hell did all this happen? I didn't see it. And stop it. Yeah, this is this a is massive a whole breakdown. lot bigger than we thought. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. And that fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, that's where the big breakdown came in. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all I mean finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. Probably still has the shard with him. Yeah. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Oh, them. no. The lucky pawn. No, we went they to the wrong place. The lucky pawn. Shit. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. This isn't these low people, like people on the bottom of the rung here, it's not their fault. This is a massive failing that systemically started with Crane. That mother f Should have ripped his head off when I had the chance. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna my fucking Jack, system? What the fuck is going on? But you, I'm uh, the guy who just gonna. Sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order, you know. and that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. And I really don't feel like mopping out. Who the is that there. guy? So I'm giving you one more shot to thank me for my. Sunny attitude. I don't want to interrupt and them. I want to let them talk. 
turn the fuck around and walk out that door with your life. Walking out with your axe or whatever other bullshit is not on the table. Okay. So get the fuck out of my sight, hit the bricks, see you later. Hey, what's going on here? The fucking hell! Christ, and this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you uh. bald little dipshit. You're gonna- Ooh! Ooh. You piece of shit! Stop, Woody, for fuck's sake! Cool it, Woody. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. Anyone, and I mean anyone who gets in the way of that, has something else coming to them. What is your fucking problem? Just stay out of my way, all right? How you feeling today, Sheriff? Okay. Still for killed them hookers, or are you done chasing your tail? All right, that was just straight up a fucking assault, dudes. I'm gonna let it continue for a little while longer, and then I'm gonna stop. This is my fucking fight. Yeah, it, I know, dog. but you got a lot of nerve. Uh oh. Oh, it's a Wendigo. <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh, oh big B. There's the axe. Get the axe! Woody, get the axe! No, we're not doing any more. That's fine. He's down. Do we have to do it? Nope, we're good. Okay, now he's attacking me again, so this is appropriate response. Right, are you done? Not done. Every time you hit me, I'm gonna hit you back. Because that's called self-defense, motherfucker! Ooh. He just tried to kill me. He just tried to kill me. Hey, it's asshole. over. I found her. Are we done? Are we good? No, 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 Woody. No, Woody. No. Okay, thank God. I thought Woody Dick was about to... missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? Yeah. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like We're a gonna fucking talk. dump. Fucking bitch. <laughs> Oh, mirror, mirror. There's the gun that was used to Just shoot me. Just go on. Get Crane shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat.
money. No time for traveler's checks, huh? We're gonna keep it. Cause, you I mean, it's in a freaking pawn anymore. shop, so... Stolen, and in a pawn shop. That sick piece of... God damn it. The there shard. It is. It's the shard. Finally. Thank Christ for that. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Yeah, it's not. It's better to let bad guys talk sometimes. Smoke. Give him a cigarette, dudes. Yeah. Thanks for the help in there, Woody. Thanks. Although you went a Should bit far. <laughs> You're welcome. Everyone judges me for my cigarettes. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. That's the plan. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Don't lose your axe, buddy. It's a damn good one. gonna be all right you know me her guy why do I recognize that cab driver where do I know him from it might just be a generic model to be fair I think it was just a generic model never mind <laughs> I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Missing piece. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Oh. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. That, that piece doesn't you've look big enough. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you What's think the mirror will be able to find the door dear. once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Sure. Don't go far, Sheriff. Okay, dude. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of that day. That is oh, fuck bullshit. Off. You know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? 
I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talk. Bluebeard's been bought out by the breath. By the crooked man as well. Understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Not necessary. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. Had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Of course, because if you say Bloody Mary's name, yeah. I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. Thank you, Buffkin. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Can I pet Buffkin? Which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Huh. <laughs> Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. Yeah. If you're so self reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're. They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're That's the job, Snow. At war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Why not? He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news no. and be done with it, okay? I I'm sorry, no. What? The snow is so authoritarian. I thought I made myself very I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? He's not wrong, that is... I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Yeah. I'm sorry, but we do owe him. Won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Yeah. Thank you, Sheriff. You we owe him, like we towed. ruined his the car. Now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you. There we go. And the farm is always on the table. Yes. But of course. Good lad, Toad. That's your last warning. <laughs> <laughs> that was the happiest little jump I've ever seen. Low beer. You want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, <sighs> at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now. But glamours are the law for a very good reason. I did the right thing. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened. To Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one it of his It is about goons. control. If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic why is there a man hanging from chains, that tree? Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily you see weren't that? doing what they were told. Or... Maybe they just... What the hell leave. is that tree? Sheriff, Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Why is there a dude? I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm it? sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. A 
he's probably still waking up a little. He also might be sealing his lips. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Yeah, that's fair. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. <laughs> so, where does Crooked Man hang out? <laughs> I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. Oh, gee. It moves. Oh, we already knew that. I tell you. Yeah. Wait a minute. I know that door. Where is it? Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Bigby, wait. What? When you get the Crooked Man. Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him, so I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Yeah, like we're on the front lines here. We'll do our best. But if he draws a gun on me, I'm going to rip his head off and shove it so far up his ass he's coughing his own entrails. No explanation for the... I think that's the first time I've ever actually kicked the door down but instead of knocking, but feels kind of necessary for this part. I wonder if the cake was a lie. How is that noise? Oh, Tiny Tim. Tim! What the hell are you doing here? With a Good broken evening, leg. Chef. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know, they said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way, I'm gonna get cancelled for this calling him is the tiny. One thing I have to do. Fine, lead on. Feels like Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a Guard. I feel like More this is deliberately delaying me. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Yeah. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, 
the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught. In I mean, the I have no choice. I man. understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy. Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. He also Some of kills. us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Like, this is what Thanks. I've been saying this whole time. Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? We I caused this problem. Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, Tell me who the fuck I is back there. You. It's the I, I don't exactly problem. know. I, I just mind you the door. Worry. The boss is there. Around. I know that I much. Came before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and made into a rug for me to wipe my shoes off. He's right. He was fine when Crane was smoothing things over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to deal with. So that's it then. Let's slip the dogs of war. Hmm? None of you can see fit to stare him down. The best outcome you can picture is having him dead. I like to think a little bigger than that. All right, I'm You're not listening in on this. Frightened, are you? Yeah, it's easy for you to say. He didn't pull the claws out on We will you. tame the rope. And I pray he will eventually be of more use to us alive. Well, I don't like it. It's not for you to like. Yeah. Sorry, Excuse I really me, wanted to but listen. I have a job to do. Listen in on the conversation. Sheriff Wolf, sir. The pimp. The pawn shop. The unpopular. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Uh, ah! Tim's a witch! He's a witch! <laughs> you see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? Why is... We have a great deal to discuss. Why is the prostitute here? Jesus Christ. This is a whole lot bigger. And if my envoys are correct, oh, yes, I've had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Carpaccio is delicious. Well... Gramercy me. Take a seat at the very least. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. For the love what do you of think you're doing? God, pick me. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the an extra. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Jersey's Sheriff, a point of weakness here. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You forget what happened at the Pudding and Pie. You and your goons tried to kill me. I'm truly sorry for that whole debacle. It was not my intention to put you or Miss White in any sort of danger. My wish was merely to take Crane, Sheriff. But as soon as the assignment grew out Where's of control, Mary? I put a stop to it. I know that that doesn't change what happened to you, and I can only offer my sincerest apologies. Crane wasn't yours to take. I apologize if I overstep my bounds. Won't happen again. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. 
the recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. Where the hell is I don't Mary? relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's okay. a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. You really don't need to worry yourself further. I don't know who did it, An for sure. unfortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was George. I was right, it was the pimp! However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. Okay, he's definitely a weakness. I can exploit him to make this go to yeah, shit. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, he was ordered to. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks this. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. any trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? I'm After stay silent. I want to see this play out. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us! For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one who- Who the shit do you think you fuck us around? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit. But he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Yeah, what the fuck? You're gonna make sure we all go down this shitter with you? I told Again, you. Again, I'm gonna stay quiet. I'm gonna let them work this out. I want it. The more I hear, the this better it goes. so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh, there's Bloody Mary. Hey. <laughs> like, Georgie Did I miss anything good? was being sold out by the real leader. Well, look at you all fixed up. Oh, <clears throat> Jesus! It's not how this was meant to go, but if you're trying to Take kill this. me, it will not go well for you. Trust you're me. Done, Come on, we're pretty much done here. Oh, you motherfucker. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Ha <laughs> ha, you stupid bastard! Now you're going in for double murder! 
Or I'm gonna do that. that. Oh god. Oh. It's also a thing. This way. That's a bit far, Big B. Yeah, let's not murder anybody. Everyone's still alive. No. No. We can get them all to testify against the crooked man. Oh, we went full wolf, huh? Uh, Big B, people are gonna see you! Alright, like he doesn't give a shit! Jesus, we are after them. the goddamn car already like a goddamn bullet jesus what is that bar at the bottom Probably should have just taken the hit to be on. Oh no, there they are. Come on. Oh, that's surprisingly helpful. There just happened to be perfect clothes for me there. It's a dog's life. And that is one very loyal hooker. Come on, we can't stay here. <sighs> Hang on, I need a minute. Okay. Can you stand up? <clears throat> it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <sighs> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. How did this happen, George? Let's see what they have to say. Shit. Hello, Big B. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see I would that. have chased after the crooked Only man. Only you just like me too much to let me go. <laughs> oh. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? 
Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason yeah. they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. That's not what? a mistake. He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered? Of course it does. Those girls. Oh, so it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean... Ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. I did what I had to. Jesus. You can't fucking blame me for that. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <clears throat> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. And that's the problem. Because it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them. And then he fucking sold me out. The both of you can go rot in hell. Georgie. You think I'm the one to fucking blame? He's still responsible. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Ryan, believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. His intestines are spilling but What out. was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What? What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. What? It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die. What? Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you talking about? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet, to ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. So she's the All source. All magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I no, do. No, you don't. You've got a you freaking butcher's axe Nobody over there now. supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches can... Don't talk can... about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really... Just shut up. What makes you think you can just... I know what I've done. No, Wait. no, 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 I'm no. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with okay. my life. I thought it would be different here. I thought she was but about to pull the, the ribbon. Fucking Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? 
Wait, all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't. <laughs> oh. Goodbye, Vivian, Georgie. no! Holy oh, shit! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Just... Jesus. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... Oh! That's how the others were murdered. You took the ribbons off. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Do you wanna finish me off now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I know what I did. <laughs> Let's not draw this out. Make it quick. All right, Georgie. That's not making it quick, Big B. Jesus. Oh, this is shit. Like, these are the people who are guilty. Still warm. These aren't the- He's here, all right. These aren't the people who are at the bottom of the ladder who have no choice. These are people who are perpetrating criminal stuff. Like, the, these are the ones that are causing the suffering, but it doesn't make it any better that they're all dying. I can't believe Vivian's the source of everything. There's the packages. So this is where they've been sending these. Bigby Wolf. 
big bad wolf. <laughs> is that her up there? No. You used to be something. Oh shit. This we have a stalker. That's not good. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would There's the crooked man's wheel. Crooked man's wheel, a hammer and bleach. Jesus Christ. There's a mold for making silver bullets. Silver. Yep. The big bad wolf. So they're prepared for me. Oof. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, oh, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you've finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll we'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted oh, through town? Okay. I'm not gonna hit her first. Oh well, alright. That was self-defense. Oh, where'd she go? Because she's in a mirror, like reflections. Oh god. I hit the button and it didn't work. Unless she was aiming for my eye and I managed to avoid her ripping my eyeball out. Either way, we need to get on some solid ground, dude. I, I hit it again! I keep hitting the button and it's not working! Shit, that is horrifying. We've wolfed out. This is our final form.
But we've proven before that we're weak to silver in this form. really not good. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! afraid of the big bad wolf, eh? She's trying to kill me and we got no choice here but self-defense. She has to die. We can't hold back or we're gonna lose everything. Oh, are we doing a scream? Blowing the house away. And he huffed and he puffed. And he blew the house down. close. There's no way it was that easy, right? It was that easy? What about the gun? The gun with the silver bullets. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds. I won't miss next time. Oops. Well, there's five rounds left. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. At least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. 
This is just a precaution. Uh -huh. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All you I'm gave asking the order. for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying yeah. when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. He said on his deathbed. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point. But just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. <sighs> I hate this you're guy. often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Justice. Where this case is concerned, I mean. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. We'll bring All him right, in. Let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. That's not how you say? prisoners work, dude. Hey! You don't get I'm to keep sure the weapon. Will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I really wanted to rip him apart, but I've been doing my best to follow the law this whole playthrough. Or at least do the right thing. And the justice thing. I know, I know. Or just things. Are. We have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. Also, two you more can people talk are dead. About it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that. Really, you know, Snow? Really? I'm really? Just glad you made it back in one piece. Really? It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily! She was my sister! How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get off? You think you have the right and to just do this Faith? to people? You're a fucking crook! This, you should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. That's the crooked man is charged right. with the murder of As I Faith already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White, but I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Georgie's yeah, dead. Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie was a victim of this psycho too. He was pushed into the whole thing and now he's dead. He's what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't need change for this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? 
If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Three times! Why? A oh. misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Don't interrupt. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're in- Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's Fair guilty. Trial. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but we with it. We promised then. you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Well, don't this uncuff is ridiculous. him. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? You ordered everyone I to kill me. I was willing to cooperate. You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. Twice! They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. Bullshit. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. You are. When you your government abandoned you, Lewis. left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? Yes, really. What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. 
Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. That is reasonable. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. Yeah. What? That was the right thing to do. You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? I know. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. Shut she up, Snow! She was Phil. working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. Yeah, she had you no can choice. Lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. That is true. We've made some mistakes. Thank you, I've sir. made some mistakes. Thank you. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. And if things didn't fall exactly his way, someone would die. We're not gonna tolerate this shit anymore. The debts are wiped. His business is closed. He's done. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. I like how we only have maybe one hundredth of the town here to judge Very him. Very good. Very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? So, are we done? No, we are not done. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him- Let me just them. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? And what like were my what? actions? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? You mean he was nicely? To mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch. Excuse me, I hit him He's once. Right? Did you think we'd all just let that? Oh, go? That, I didn't mean to click that. Nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. I didn't mean to click that. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know- The laws apply when we need them. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain level here. of privilege should be afforded to- no. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. Jesus. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you, treating you as He's not wrong. children, too stupid to command your own That's destiny? That's the whole reason we're in this mess. Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? 
Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White? Excuse me, I... dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's moment? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We she can talk. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. She has something to say and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut you... up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <sighs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. Yeah. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I... Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of us. At least what? five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever, somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. That's where the witching well is. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not assure good you, enough. maybe there she has more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't get So we get rid of him. Too dangerous. Get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? Yeah. He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Big B? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. He murdered two people. He tried to murder me multiple yes, times. Sure do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can look. I'm sorry, but the sentence Everyone, is death. I'm not this way. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can still- End it already. You're going to Your miss sentence me. is death. And there is no, no reprieve. I won't.
for Lily. And Faith. And everyone else, he's fucked yes. up. Yes. Another one of us to erase from the books. Damn. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Guys, jump back! Yay! This fucking line. Hey, Jack. Hey, Tim. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. <sighs> Mr. Wolf, eh? Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? God damn, get yourself a receptionist, woman. Good morning, Miss White. <sighs> You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> that fat pig arse. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. Looks like things aren't getting any better yet. Honestly, Snow needs to start hiring help. Imagine Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim can run the reception area. He just needs to sit down and talk to people. Toads? Wait, what? Oh, Colin. Jesus. Why? I gave him- We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around I told around him to here. buy glamour. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. What? I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Why? Wait. Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. What the fuck is wrong with Can Snow? Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. Oh, it's a willow beetle. Snow. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. No, I'm... Uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. What the hell? Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He uh, must have 
must have run off. Bullshit. What the hell, Snow? Saying goodbye? She's very attractive. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just... Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Okay? Okay. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. What? You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Marissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. Oh. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? She so told... I told him everything. And, now she and feels I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. I thought she killed Faith. My heart dropped for a happened, second. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. You lied? But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of his stupid technicality. Especially after... You can't lie! That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily. But she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here. You were trying to get my attention. So you... You started all this. I just... Pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Marissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. I hope so. We'll make things right. You and Snow. I hope so, but things know. aren't looking great. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, 
Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. Yeah. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Jesus. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Wait, what? That's what the girl said at the start. Hey. I, tell you I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. She's not. I'll see you around. Wolf. She's not the little mermaid. Polish. 168.6% players killed Georgie. You in 89 brought the good man back alive. Threw him down the well. Accepted DJ's gift. You did some good here. Impressed over your detective skills. You fought him after the interrogation. You're after him protection. You helped him avoid the harm. You also died well. You gave her money. No, she is definitely deceased. You smashed up this place. I smashed up one part of this place, but I guess that's still pretty bad. You dragged with Gren. Tried to take her ribbon. You brought her along with you to the trip trap. I'm back live just to wait for her. You stood up for everyone to know what I said before I came to Jesus Christ. And that's the wolf among us. I've never played this game before. This was... This was the first time I ever played this game, even looked at this game, and it was amazing. Well, uh, this video will be up on YouTube in its entirety, so if any of you stuck around to the end and you enjoyed this, like and subscribe and let me know if there's any other telltale games that are good because i never really looked at telltale games as something that i would want to play but having played this now i want to play them all